You know, I, I consider them quite similar, actually, um, the way that I approach um, both both pedagogy in um, creative writing and um, and composition. Um, the main difference is is that um, most of the things that I do in um, in creative writing. Um, is done on a, an entire class level, and then what's done done in composition is usually done in smaller groups. However, I do do small group uh, work in in both um, sections. Um, as far as peer review, as far as workshopping goes, I feel like it's really really important to model um, the workshop experience for them before they actually go into it themselves. And so, in both cases, um, you know, I have a kind of fishbowl workshop in which I say, okay, here's here's a, a piece that we are going to edit, we're going to edit as a class, or talk about as a class, or analyze as a class. Um, and I always um, impress upon them in both uh, composition and um, creative writing that the first line of of criticism is really analysis, doing a deep analysis of the work first to understand the context, the audience, um, you know, the the position from which the um, work is being written um, is always the first thing that you do. Um, but before we can even get to that, um, you know, a, a lot of times it's just a matter of of, of building that scaffolding of vocabulary and uh, ways of talking about um, writing uh, via an editorial um, perspective. Um, in both of my both my composition and creative writing courses, I do a lot of different workshops. I don't just have one workshop model. Um, I tend to workshop small pieces in both courses, breaking down essays um, into small parts, like we might. Uh, workshop the introduction in a composition course um, or the introduction of a story in a fiction workshop and I kind of use the Joe Harris model where we put student work on the overhead um, and the student reads it out loud and then another classmate reads it out loud so that the student writer can hear it and that gives us time to think about the material and come up with um, ideas about what's working and suggestions for making it stronger and usually when we workshop small bits it's as we're working on a longer piece and I think it's helpful so that students can apply those same suggestions to their own work and see problems and, um, and good elements in their own work. Um, one difference between my comp workshops and my creative writing workshops is I feel like workshop is the basis of a creative writing class um, or traditionally that's how it's viewed, whereas in a composition class, I don't know if it's quite as central, um, but maybe that's a problematic way of view viewing those two courses. Um, I do in my creative writing courses often, instead of having workshop be the, the only thing that happens for a long period of time in the class, um, I often let the students democratically choose the form of the workshop. I think in a composition class, uh, I, we, we talk a lot about who the specific audience is for a given piece of writing, who they envision as their, as their audience. I think in a creative writing class, whether I mean to or not, the audience is usually, you know, you the student, you the reader, how do you respond to this piece of writing, how do you, and, and then that inevitably, inevitably uh, you know, gets us talking about, uh, you know, how the rest of the class responds to it. So I don't know if that makes sense, but in a composition class, I think we do naturally, you know, do tend to identify a specific audience, you know, a specific body of readers. In creative writing workshop, I think that, you know, it's more how do you, how are you responding to this right now? How do you think, the, you know, and then, and then it kind of grows out from that. I don't talk about audience in my composition or creative writing courses. Um, and I think that's because I do full class workshops pretty consistently in both. So they're already, like, they're already aware of me being an audience, like their audience and the other members of the class being their audience. And so I feel like there's an, uh, an implied audience all the time anyway. Um, and like, Classroom community is something that I focus on a lot, and so I generally have classes where students um, feel like they know each other pretty well by the end. So again, I think it's a supportive environment for them to bring in their work and share it with each other. And so I think they often feel like the process of writing and revising is a shared process and not something they're doing individually. So 
I feel like it's just sort of embedded in the, in the way that I structure the class rather than something I talk about explicitly.